Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to solve this problem that we have on the board where we're really going to try to find V right here, the voltage drop across this 8 ohm resistor. So you can see it's a little complicated. We have two voltage sources and one of them is actually flipped upside down when, with respect to the uh, first one. We have a constant current source going up and then of course we have resistors everywhere and we're trying to find the voltage here. Now again, just like we said in the last section, there's lots of ways to solve a problem. You could use node voltage here, mesh current, you can do other things to find this voltage, but we in this section want to use source transformations or any kind of transformations to simplify the problem down to a point where we can make it really easy to look at and then quickly solve with some kind of a, you know, Ohm's law or something like that. So, uh, because we're trying to find the voltage across the 8 ohm resistor, we really want to try to leave this part of the circuit alone. I mean, you might be tempted at first glance, you have two resistors here in series, you can add them together, right, creating a, a, a single resistor here. And then you have these guys in parallel, you could simplify, but that's going to get you nowhere because it, well, I wouldn't say get you nowhere, but, but it doesn't help you immediately because you're trying to find this voltage. So if you destroy that part of the circuit, it's tough. So what we really want to do is turn our attention to the sources over here. Lots of, lots of ways to do this. Uh, the first thing that jumps out at you, uh, the first thing that jumps out at you is the fact that we have here, we have a voltage source in series with a resistance. So we can actually do a source transformation to kind of change that into a current source in parallel with this 20 ohm resistor. And then in just a second, we're going to do exactly the same thing with this set here. Now I know it looks a little bit weird. It doesn't look like what, the way we've drawn it in the last problem with the source and then the resistor kind of horizontal. But the bottom line is like learning these topics, you know, you have to learn how to see them drawn different ways. Half the battle in circuit theory is learning that these are equivalent. What you really care about, for, you know, we learned to draw it in the way that we did in the last section, but what you really care about is you have a voltage source in series with a resistance. Boom, that's all you care about. So these terminals here on, on the other ends here, one terminal here being A and one terminal here being B, they, they're looking across this assembly, which is a resistor in series with a voltage source. So I can change that. Now if I uh, were to calculate the new value of the current needed, what would that value be? The, the new current source that I'm going to need here is going to be V over R. So it's 120 over 20. And that divides nicely, so you'll get 6 amps. Alright, so I can change that into a 6 amp source uh, in parallel with a 20 ohm resistor. Now, just to save a tiny bit of time, I also notice right away that I can do the exact same thing here. Right? I can do the same thing there. So, to do this guy, so this one goes here, right? To do this guy over here, I is V over R, the voltage is 60, the resistance is 5, so 60 divided by 5 is going to be 12 amps, okay? So those two are two that I know I can do, and I'm just going to sort of do those first and then we'll see where we end up. So let's redraw the circuit directly underneath. So this voltage source is no longer a voltage source. It is a 6 amp current source. So let me draw that. What direction is the current source going to be? It's going to be up because it has to match the polarity of what I'm transforming from. This has got current, current coming out this way. Uh, because the positive is on the top, right? So this is going to be 6 amps, and this resistance, this 20 ohm resistance, is now in parallel with 